to tell you just a brief story about uh, how to uh, assist your body in its healing process. Some of you have heard this story, and it's always a good reminder. Uh, many years ago, when I was teaching high school, I had to have a routine blood test as part of uh, being able to teach each year. And so I went in for my blood test, and uh, the person uh, wanting to draw the blood from my arm um, began to put the needle in, and um, he couldn't find the vein. And then usually there's no problem at all, but this time he couldn't find the vein, which is usually a clue to me <laughs> that I'm about to learn something. <laughs> <laughs> and so after six or seven pokes, and each time he did it, I said, you know, that, that hurts. And he thought I was a wuss, probably. And I said, you know, that, that's, that, that hurts when you're doing that. And he says, yeah, well, there's a little prick when the needle goes in, but six or seven times. Finally, he said, I can't find the darn thing. And eventually he did find the vein and drew the blood. And so then I was leaving, and I had the Band-Aid on, and I said, you know, my arm is really aching. It really is aching. It's aching all the way up into my shoulder. It really hurts. And he said, oh, you know, you've just had a little prick here, and it'll go away in just a few minutes. You'll be just fine. And then I was sure he thought I was a wuss. And so, um, so I went home and let it go. But the pain didn't go away. And the pain got worse and worse. And what had happened was that he was actually hitting the nerve and perforating the nerve each time the needle went in. So the nerve had been badly damaged in that area. And so I, it became so that I was unable to use this arm because there was just too much pain if I tried to move it. Now, being a teacher, it was helpful to have both arms, and they worked. Fortunately, I was left-handed, so I could still write and that sort of thing. Well, this went on for a number of months, and I saw my doctor, and he said, well, you know, it's nerve damage, so it's nerve damage. That's how it is. It'll stay that way or it won't. You know, there's not, not a thing we can do about it. And I realized I was angry about this. I was angry at the person that did it, that he must have been incompetent. I was angry that my doctor didn't seem to care enough to really want to examine and find out what was going on. And so whenever I felt the pain, I felt anger and upset. That's what I felt from the pain of this injustice that had been done to me that shouldn't have happened in something so simple. You know how that goes, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. So... Um, the pain stayed, and it was months down the road, and it was not improving. And one day, I realized, nobody cares. You know, I expected somebody would care, and the doctor or somebody would have an idea, and it would get better. And I went, nobody cares. I guess it's up to me. Now, what a brilliant thing, right? <laughs> we could have done that months ago, but... At least it happened. And I went, I guess it's up to me. Now, this was before I was doing any kind of energy work or any healing work or anything. And so I thought, okay, so let's look at what I've been doing. Whatever I've been doing does not work. So I realized what I have been doing is that when I feel the pain, I feel anger and upset and injustice. I went, All right, that's not working. It's not getting better. So I thought, I'll do the opposite. So I was just experimenting. I'll do the opposite. What would be the opposite? Well, love and compassion and kindness. Maybe I can feel that instead when I feel the pain. And as I had this awareness of feeling perhaps love and kindness and compassion, I was thinking about the pain. And, um, and I suddenly had this insight of all these little cells there that were damaged and yet doing their darndest to still do whatever they were still capable of doing. They were doing their best to take care of their job uh, while they were damaged. And I felt this enormous compassion for these precious little beings inside of me that were working so hard, they were working their little hearts off to take care of me and do their job even though they were badly damaged. And, and I realized I had been scolding them and blaming them by feeling anger when they told me, I'm sorry, I can't do it quite as good as I used to. I was getting angry. And anger changes your chemistry. 
and anger was going here to my arm. I was creating an abusive world for these precious little beings filled with anger and upset and injustice for them to try to survive in. And I felt this enormous um, sadness of how I had been treating these innocent, precious, giving everything they had to give little beings and how I'd been treating them. And so along with realizing that I wanted to do it differently, I realized that there is a whole other um, number of beings here that deserve to be treated very differently than I was treating them. And so immediately in that moment, right then, I shifted. And every time I felt the pain, I instead thought, oh, thank you. Thank you for working so hard. I'm sorry you don't feel good. I love you so much. I appreciate you. And if I noticed uh, initially that I had that little old habit of feeling upset, I stopped immediately, went right back to thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. Three days later, three days. Now, remember, it's been months. Three days later, I'm using my arm normally. And I realized the pain wasn't there. I hadn't realized the pain had left, so I don't know when it left. But three days later, I was just doing something normally, and I went, hm, my arm doesn't hurt anymore. And I thought, that can't be. Right. Boom. Oh. <laughs> the pain came right back, and I went, that can't be. It's got to hurt. You know? Oh, yeah, 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 it hurts. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. I'm right, it hurts. <laughs> And then I realized, okay, I can make the pain go away, and I can make the pain come back. I think I'll choose to make it go away. So I started again with, I love you, I appreciate you. And by the evening, in a few hours, the pain was gone, and it's been gone. It's forever gone. And in the, that learning, I learned about the consciousness of the cells and the precious beings that they are working 100% on our behalf every moment, regardless of what's going on inside of them, regardless of the, the nutrition or the pain or whatever's there. They are doing everything they can do with what they have. And I realize the way in which we can influence what takes place in our body and how rapidly it heals and how rapidly it can shift itself back into something healthy and strong and vibrant. And so when we acknowledge the cells and their role and appreciate it, we are flooding them with this wonderful chemistry because the chemistry of love is fantastic in our being. We are giving them everything they need and they can immediately start to rebuild and restore and become very strong and healthy. So whatever's going on in your body, if it's a cold or an allergy or you have to have a surgery or you've had a surgery and you're still rebuilding, whatever it is, maybe you've had an ancient surgery and it has a scar or something doesn't work, whatever it is, be sure that you um, take the time to appreciate what's going on there when you notice the discomfort or you notice what's going on. Send the love into that area, that appreciation, and things will change very rapidly because you've given the little cells the environment they need to transform themselves. If every medical person knew this little piece of information, the, the people that they work with could, uh, could have such wonderful success in their healing process, and the doctors would be miracle doctors. I don't know how my doctor did this, but I just to pay attention and thank it, and, I, and things get better so fast, and we could do that, and it would make an enormous difference. Music